What's going on guys, it's T.Y. Back again with another video. And I want to talk about how how I there's always this conflict that I can't seem to get over between you know As an antinatalist, you cannot stay happy for long. I don't think anybody can, but it's more chronic in antinatalists. And I think that's for obvious reasons. You know, many antinatalists wish they were never, never born. So, if something distracts you from the pain of life and you enjoy it at the moment, that's fine. But as an antinatalist, you are always quick to reset back to you know that fundamental it's all for nothing all of my worries all of my troubles everything i am going to do i am not going to be able to contribute to shit i mean it doesn't really matter you could sacrifice your life you could sacrifice your time you could do whatever the hell it is you want to do in this life in the end it still just all amounts to nothing As I'm speaking to you right now, since when I started recording this video, I'm starting to without up to about 60 new children in this country alone. And according to statistics, they say that like every three seconds there's a new child born in Nigeria. Every three seconds. That's insane. No one knows what the fuck they're gonna do with these children. You know, um large part of the of the north. They are children they call Almanjiris. And those children are just children whose parents just add them. No plans for school, no money to feed them, no nothing. So as an Almanjiri, their job by default is to go around and beg. They do that every single day of their lives. That's how they feed themselves. In a place with little to no hope, People compete by the number of children that they have. If a friend of yours is pregnant with the second child or the third child, you want to you want to do that as well. And why? If your friend or whoever that person is was more capable than you are, you shouldn't compete with them because you're not on the same level in the first place. Like, listen. I don't know if I'm going to post this video. It's just like, um, I'm feeling really, kind of like, really down today. I don't feel like, you know, recording anything, even though I'm recording one right now. But it's really crazy, man. I don't know how to stay happy for, like, more than 15 seconds or something. Everything is jaded, you know. Whatever it is that gave me happiness... For the past one year isn't as exciting as it used to be when i first stumbled upon it drinking i only drink and smoke now because it's just the only way to cope coping just like everybody else just trying to survive except we will survive for as long as we can and then we still eventually die the sad existence if you get to understand the human predicament and i always try because that's the only thing that's the only way society have been able to keep itself up together um together up until this point it's pretending lying to ourselves that things aren't the way they appear you know lying to ourselves just Bearing our heads in the sand, pretending like things are fine, even though they're not. So, the way a lot of people handle life, it's not like they handle it any different than we antinatalists do. It's the same for all of us. It's just that they find that distraction to be more, and they dwell on the distraction. Unlike me, if I start drinking, I'm mostly going to be sad. But I know when I get to the second or third bottle, my mood would have changed so 
um why do i drink alcohol now it's to it's just to find some sort of distraction anything that will change you know make me feel good it's the same thing everyone does but it's so chronic that i can't find anything that gives me pleasure i don't want to do anything i don't want anything i feel like i don't need anything i need very little to survive in this life very very little to survive in this life i keep up my life i don't need i don't need to buy a car i don't need to build a house i don't need those things I don't want them if someone is handing them over to me on a platter of good all right thanks i'm not going to reject the gift but i'm saying i'm not going to go you know i'm not going to slave in my entire life away to build up a house that I die soon and most likely someone around me is going to sell to somebody else and i'll be building a house with everything that i make all my sweat all of my stress all of my pain everything will go into building a house or maintaining a car in the end what do they come for come for nothing no house is like really any house built by common man like you know people from nigeria is going to withstand a hundred years your house is not going to stand for a hundred years it's most likely going to collapse within a hundred years you know it doesn't really matter what you do it doesn't really matter how big the house is chances are it's not going to be able to survive except for big infrastructures like bridges are meant to last around 50 years 40 years I don't think anything we we've ever created is meant to we start around a hundred years old. So nothing you do, even if you like, you build a monument for yourself to crumble in the end. Nothing. We'll, most of us will not be even remembered at all within the next say hundred years. And I'm using a hundred years as a benchmark so that at least we can all just grab what point it is I'm trying to make it. You know. I'm not going to be remembered by anyone when I'm dead, except for my parents or my siblings, my immediate sisters, because I'm not going to reproduce. And once they die, my memory dies with them. It's the same thing for all of us. My great grandmother now didn't know my my sister's um children now. So when my sister dies and my mother dies and we, the rest of the sibling dies, the memory of my grandmother is completely gone no one is going to remember she ever existed everything she ever did to exist every pain she ever caused someone else every pain that she took every hurt everything it still amounts to nothing you know like it should amount to anything like nothing matters i get it it's just why i continue to preach you know, this place where things are finance where we fight over everything. And we know, we know, listen, if you if 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 you are the child, say around 13 year old, you didn't know any better. You were a kid, you were a stupid kid, you didn't know any better. But if you're older and you're old enough to understand, man, this life, my life isn't easy and stuff like that. Yeah would you what would you want to bring somewhere to a place where you strive you can't even you know you can't get things done on your own terms you have no control of anything most things are totally out of control why would you want to bring someone here to come face the same thing and then eventually die you know it's just like i see this place like we're all in a burning bus and with politics and every other thing we distract ourselves with it's just Who's going to drive the bus for the next one mile or the next two miles? Is all I see. People burying their head in the sand, not wanting to confront reality for what it is. Because I think if antinatalist or antinatalism like just spreads large enough, people will, will step back. And all this capitalism, all this competition that we do amongst ourselves, we can at least step back and try and come up with a way for humans to live life live not just exist and then pass on we don't live for shit. we walk ourselves to death 
like ships are even way better we're like we're like a bee we're like we're all in a bee hive it's like this hive mind and one bee doesn't count for nothing we just have to continue to make sure the colony survives yeah but what for what are we doing it for is my point what are we supposed to get to what are we supposed to gain from whatever whatever it is that's out there what what, what, what i'm proposing what we're proposing as antinatalists is a shortcut to everything someone who doesn't exist will not have to die someone who doesn't exist does not have to get introduced into something like politics or wars or hunger and suffering and stuff like that it, it's a never-ending cycle of suffering you know but it is what it is guys i just wanted to rant don't want to i don't know man I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace the fuck out.